Hi everybody, I am Alessandro Boncio from RenderKing.it and today I want to show you a new fun tutorial. This animation I made some time ago for Xerox because they want to make a transition between old logo and the new one, new logo, as you can see. Voila, perfect. And I want to show you and teach you how to make the same with uh, objects, primitives, or text, or your own logos. We, we, today we use simple text, maybe only two letters. For example, uh, we put... Um, for, for, sorry. Just, just one letter, one uh, A, for example, and B. B. Okay. Then add the second and make some adjustment to make it as we as we want okay we have to sub subdivide our letters yes we have selected old letters and make subdivide subdivide and more subdivide okay um, yes why not or oh, not too much and Okay, for example, for no uh, eight. Okay, and then add some quadrangles. Yes, smaller four or two small eight again. Okay, perfect. This is subdivided so make it editable, editable press C and then we have to editable again make editable again select B right click connect and delete Delete this. This is our letter B and make editable again. Select the child, right click, connect, and delete. Perfect. Okay, and delete this. Okay, hide this for this moment. Perfect. Uh, now we have to put on the scene this uh, turbulence perfect turbulence we have to uh, put also a deformer a jiggle deformer perfect and put as a child of the first letter A and then go to forces and drag turbulence inside if we play we we can see a little movement so for example we have to make strength higher 250 and you can see the jiggle deformer that move our leather we have to change some values Stiffness, okay, and a structural, yes, and on turbulence, uh, make either this value perfect, yes, wow, perfect. We need more keyframe, 300 for example. Voila, okay, perfect. Okay, to make a good uh, transition 
that seems like morphing, we have to meet the same in the second letter. Yes, uh, stop for a moment, go back. To create jiggle as a child of the second letter, B, and look at. Okay. Inside this deformer, we have a fall off. It's very important because we can change the effect. So choose linear and X plus X. Play, select the first and okay look at what happened moving the fall off you can activate or not the effect or you can have also into half leather in a fantastic effect very very incredible so we can make a fake morphing we have to start yes from zero and put, uh, activate auto keyframe and then what I have to do is um, start from here for set first keyframe go to 100 for example and drag the jiggle you you can you see uh, all object explode it's not important you have to use cache calculate cache and you then you can make any animation you want okay that's right go to from A to B and to make this we have to go on the second letter and make this set first keyframe auto keyframe go to 100 then drag on the right the second jiggle perfect Calculate Okay Yes, this is a very important thing we have to in the second jiggle we have to use uh, mm, Sorry in to invert. Oh, yes fall off perfect and then You'll have the effect we have to calculate again okay perfect uh, when uh, each jiggle uh, two jiggle are moving we have to switch off the visible of the first object uh, for example here in this position yes we have to set auto keyframe select A and go to on on visible visible in render and on visible in editor and go forward one keyframe and then go switch to off then we go off and make the opposite here here to have to put on and on then go back one frame frame and go to off and off let's start oh sorry uh, here make the same off off yes perfect 
and play start okay you you can you can see um, a jump for two reasons we are using only one lever and you can uh, and we use very very uh, very low keyframe number we can uh, make the transition very uh, long and we don't see any jump but you can use uh, some tricks in your compositing like here uh, here I have the same problem but I use um, camera movement to hide this jump and some wheel on the uh, on the camera okay now I want to show you how to play with camera add your camera then add a circle and then choose XZ put on the middle or where you want choose another radius hive bigger and then select camera and add a tag align to spline then drag circle on spline path choose tangential then choose X perfect then put the camera where you want on the middle for example yes perfect go to the first frame and then select the tag command click to set the first keyframe then go to the jump and choose for example 50 percent second click for the second keyframe then go to the end 100 percent third click for third keyframe go to the, to the beginning and play okay let's see again oh wow perfect you can see the jump but the animation is very slow you can play with a faster animation and you don't see the jump yes I want to show you faster voila you can play with post-production software like After Effects then add some jiggle to the camera to the camera movement and then you have a perfect morphing transition thank you very much for staying here and see you soon with the next tutorial of Render King